you guys are seeing record high numbers of iguanas. It's not something that I have to make up or, or, or try to try to justify for you guys, guys. It's just a fact. Look at the size of that, that dinosaur right there. Look, look at him. It's alphaness, guys. Where we're at too, look at this giant building. Just drop your comments and let me know what you guys think about this phenomenon that's going on here in Florida. Special shout outs to FX Air Guns and Pyramid Air. <sighs> Oh my god. Hyper orange. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. The finesse. The finesse. <laughs> my goodness. My goodness. Oh god. my gosh. Definitely. Six foot. I mean, legit. We are at Winn Dixie and just look. It's a massive. One of our. Our big problem out here. Big problem. Like, it's like somebody's pet gone wild. Look, he's just, he's just being alpha. That's all he knows what to do and how to do. He just knows how to be the alpha. Now it's time for us to dethrone that alpha. He's like, some guy's ordering food and there's any quack. If that was you, what how would you react? Earth? There he is, guys. He just keeps walking at the drive-thru. We're gonna try to sneak up on this guy. Like I said, I did have those questions I needed to ask him. This is a problematic iguana that we, oh, there he goes right there. We need to take him out. All right, buddy, just relax. Oh, we're walking our pet iguana. Oh, there he goes right now. We got it around him though. Oh shoot, oh my gosh, hold, oh, right up. Whoa! Oh, we definitely woke him up. That was pretty cool. Shoot, oh, oh, what's the tail with It's insane, guys, that's what it is. It's insane what's going on out here with iguanas. With all these people in cars, what are you doing? You've been a bad, bad iguana. He doesn't want to speak, I'm guessing he's pleading the fifth. We're gonna go ahead, bag this guy. Oh shoot, whoa. Oh gosh, oh shoot, oh, yeah, yeah. All right guys, there he is right there. It's the breeding season, so it seems like a lot of these guys are just gonna be out and about in plain sight. If you do see big iguanas out in public, do not approach them. Obviously, they can be aggressive during the breeding season. And if you don't know what you're doing, it's a sure, quick, easy way to get scratched, bit, and probably end up with stitches in the emergency room. So leave it to the professionals. Look at this beast right here. We're gonna go ahead, put this silly iguana in the bag. All right, you guys, we are here. Wow, that's all I have to say. Guys, if this isn't Jurassic Park, I really don't know what is, guys. I really just don't know. There are dinosaurs everywhere, everywhere, marching. It's the breeding season. Look how many males are out there in that field. Look, and look, that big one right there looks like he's... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Seems like he's out there trying to be super alpha. All right, guys, obviously where we're at, too... Look at this giant building. We are close and the iguana invasion is right in our backyard, guys. They're right in front of your face. We told some people about these iguanas in the city. Guess what, guys? They didn't listen. That's why I'm here. Trust the iguana man. I've been with you guys for the last five years, four years, whatever. And I've been telling you guys about this problem. You guys are seeing record high numbers of iguanas. It's not something that I have to make up or, or, or try to try to justify for you guys, guys. It's just a fact. Look at the size of that, that dinosaur right there. Look, look at him. It's alphaness, guys. Then they might want to try to get rid of them. Anyways, guys, drop your comments and let me know what you guys think about this. Just being alpha. 
That's all. That's the only thing on his mind right now, is to be the alpha. This is going to crack down right now, y'all. Look at all. Look, there's ten of them crossing me, crossing my path right now. All different sizes too. It is quite amazing, guys. Like to see, like to see this, whatever you want to call this. Call it Iguanatopia. Obviously they've all kind of left already, most of them. There are a few of them out here being alpha still. But they've all had a lot of chance to get nice and hot. Some of them don't really care. Oh, silly iguana. Oh, wow. Oh, smack. Oh. Oh. Sheesh. That boy is charged up. That's just one of many that are out here breeding, claiming the territory. Like I said, you could have a million, multi-million dollar building like this in corporation. It doesn't matter, guys. There are iguanas everywhere. All right, guys, obviously, like I said, we are behind this building right here. You guys can see it behind me. And that thing is massive, massive. So we cannot use guns out here just because it, we're so close uh, in proximities of businesses, schools, uh, residential areas over there, apartments and, and condominiums and a busy main road right there. So uh, us using guns would just be like a complete red flag out here. Uh, even if we had permission, I'm pretty sure the sheriff would not approve of that. Maybe at night when we're out here and then uh, there's nobody out and there's no you know people to get freaked out, maybe that might be a different thing that we can do, but we'll have to do that in the future. I'll wax permission to see if we can do that. But as of right now, we are allowed to use the pole and we are allowed to bag the iguanas. So let's continue that. There he goes again. There he goes again. Let's see where he runs to. Oh, no, we're not gonna let him go under that chair. Oh. Yeah. Oh man. That's a nice dragon right there. Seriously, no other place in the world you can come and catch these dinosaurs next to multi-million dollar infrastructures other than here in Florida. And that is another specimen. Look at his butt. Hey, hey, whoa. Wow. You see a big green one kind of marching right there. Let's go see if we can confront him real quick. Put him in the back. Look at this tail mark. See that? That's from a massive iguana. Massive. Where did that big one go? Gosh, look, if you look straight ahead, there's a pile of, uh, there's a palm frond. He's actually laying inside of it. He's, lay he's legit laying inside of it or on top of it to make himself look like a frond. That's just impeccable. I can't really tell. Oh man, this guy's good. Hopefully I got him right there. You guys see what I'm talking about, right? You see how he's just laying flat. And you see that 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 palm frond right there is, is just giving him probably some of the best cover he could even ask for. And it's just sitting there naturally. They're that smart, guys. And he's not moving right now. He knows that he's camoed. All right, he's not moving. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this on him a little bit. Oh my. Okay, that did not work out as planned, but he's still, we still have a shot here, guys. 
we need to refix this pole. We got to run him clean. <clears throat> oh shoot, he's trying to bite it. Okay, we got him now. All right, this is going to be a good experiment to see where he goes, and then we can kind of figure out if there's a. All right, let's see. He's he's. Oh shoot. Oh hot. Oh wow. All right, so they're, they're just all up here, guys, in those fronds. I just seen a massive tail move. So, oh, man. So this is crazy, guys. We have about 50, uh, 50 iguanas living in this bush. There's probably about 10 of them that are massive, guys. Massive, like double the size of this one right here. Got you, buddy. All right, guys, we're gonna wrap it up over here. I just wanted to show you guys that the report that I got was 100% accurate of there being a massive herd of iguanas out here in this field, right next to this multi-million dollar corporate office building. I want to give you guys that perspective of actually really what's going on out here in South Florida with iguanas. You guys seen it for yourself. We were able to bag these three specimens right here. Stay tuned guys. We're going to come back for a part two of this location. We might be able to bring out air rifles. We might bring more poles or more people to help bag iguanas. Or if you guys have any other suggestions on how we can catch these iguanas, drop some comments. Let me know what you think. It's your friend Raj the Iguana Man signing out. We will see you guys on the next video.